The Dutch farmers who have been protesting tirelessly and fighting back against the EU's restrictions on livestock and farming have successfully taken over their government. Because they didn't just protest and wait around for some politician to help them out, they formed their own political party, which is now the largest political party in the Netherlands, winning 15 out of 75 seats in the Senate, which gives them power to block legislation and also gives them more seats than the current prime minister. Let this inspire you to action. Too many of you are sitting on the sidelines. Enough. Get off the bench and into the battlefield. These globalists who are trying to play God, they're not invincible. Remember when Agenda 2030 was Agenda 21? They had to push it back because of Trump and because we the people would not comply with their COVID. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so, so much for being here. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, this one is not going to be so much about what I have to say, but it's going to be a lot about uh, what the, the our guest, uh, who is sitting backstage, has to say. Um, we didn't get to do a sound check and all that with him, so when we get uh, him on, we will uh, do all of that. So just bear with us. Uh, please bear with us while we get that straight. Uh, the man uh, who I'm about to bring on uh, is in government on one of the government boards right now. Uh, notice I'm getting right to this because we had a late start. It was time to start. And we're already having some issues. Yeah, we're already having some issues internet if we go off we're going to come back on whenever you're dealing with with government stuff you start that with interference so you all just bear with us okay all right and what you know what to do get on here and share 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 all right uh i have about twenty nine thousand followers on my facebook page but only about 100 of you get the notification because they've blocked uh notifications from going out someone says no sound all right i hope that is not true uh I hope that is not true. All right. So let me make sure. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. All right. Um, all right, cool. So we have a special guest on here. He's a man who's very respectable. When you when you see him and hear his name, you're gonna know exactly who he is. Uh uh <laughs> okay, everyone says they could hear. Good. So when you see him, you're gonna know exactly who he is. He's a respectable man who has uh been uh, out there in the public for a very uh, long time. And uh, he's also known as a no-nonsense man. He's on a government board right now. And and um, he's, saying, he's saying some things, he's experiencing some things. But this is a man who who is has a true heart of the people. And when I introduce him, you're gonna know exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna do a quick, uh, a quick little short video to do a little quick sound check. And then I'm going to bring uh, this gentleman on, and we are going to have a serious conversation about our country and the state of our nation and what's going on in our country. So this is just a quick sound check, and then we'll we'll be uh, we'll I'll introduce this uh, gentleman, respectable gentleman, to you. There we go. What happened in Dubai with the citizens? Monarchy and monarchy take care of their people and make sure that they're paid. 2,000 per family, maybe 3,000, and life is cheaper there. Life is cheaper, but all the Dubai citizens are paid, very paid. From who? From the monarch, from the king. From the king? Yeah, from the king. Wow. The money comes in uh -huh. through, the, through the government. The government distributes the money to the people. And there are no poor people. There, are like in only Dubai, poor people in you Dubai. Cannot be are poor. Those that no came poor from in country. Dubai. No poor in Dubai. It's yeah. like Kuwait. They, they get money. Like almost like American Indian uh, uh, 
the casinos, the oh, money yeah. goes out to the people, okay? And the only poor people in Dubai or Kuwait are those who come from other countries to work for the citizens that are there. Wow. And in Israel, if you're a citizen, you get a lot of 10000 and even $50,000, but you have to wait per person. Wow. Bahamas is happening around the world. The Bahamas, in the Bahamas, we are a rich nation. We are a rich nation. And, and the Bahamas nation. government refuses to give us money. Change is coming yeah, change. to the Bahamas. Yeah. It's coalition time. I, I wish all the best for Bahamas to be rich people. That's it. Thank you. To be the rich people in the world. That's what people think. We are rich people in the world. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all we got to do is change our minds and change our thinking. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to introduce to you uh, a gentleman. Again, he's on uh, one of the gift government agencies right now. He's with the Consumer Protection Agency. And um, he, uh, I think he's the vice chair, or vice commissioner. I think he'll explain that to you better. Um, but he is a champion uh, who has been fighting for Bahamas for a very long time in the unions, et cetera. Uh, and he is someone who a lot of people respect. Uh, he, he doesn't uh, take uh, individual sides when it comes to politics, uh, but um, he, he is a no-nonsense man, and everyone knows him as a no-nonsense man. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Rock Morris. Good afternoon, Mr. Morris. Yes, a pleasant good evening, uh, Mr. Bain. How are you it's doing? I am awesome, man. I hope you are doing well. It's awesome to have you here. You are a very respected uh, Bahamian, a very respectable Bahamian, and um, you 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 are uh, loved in many sectors. Well, thank you very much, you know, uh, Mr. Bain. Uh, you know, it's a pleasure for me to join you. Um, and I find myself in this position because I happened to listen to your live several days ago, and uh, I heard you speak about the Consumer Protection Commission. Yes. The, um, the deputy chair. Yes. I was quite intrigued when you spoke to some extent about possible corruption there at that agency. Yes. And, um, because you were spot on, I figure I cannot just let you talk and I am a part of it and I am satisfied based on my time there, what I'm experiencing there, what I consider to be corruption, deep, deep corruption. And uh, I have every reason to feel that way. I've been with the commission um, um, for about four years. And um, um, let me say that I am very unhappy with what I see happening to the Bahamian funds, my funds, and the, the, the players involved and what is going on. Let me say this. Uh, right now, the Consumer Protection Commission is situated at Charlotte, Charlotte House in Charlotte Street um, um, for the past mm, probably for two years. And prior to that, we were on East Street South. Uh, we were accessible to the, the ordinary man and woman who needs help from us. And so uh, where we are located may not have been the best place, but at least a, a consumer can walk in and get the help. And so uh, early this year, I was given the task of, of finding a new location for us. I did my due diligence, went all over the place, found several places that we could use, costing us about seven thousand dollars there about and uh that was passed on to to um, um the board uh however uh uh it was said to us at a meeting that uh do not worry about those places that that we were searching for the minister has found a place and it's a fate accompli you have nothing more to say right it accompli means that decision is final yes yes and so I, I said to my board members that, um, uh, you know, I, I have to register my uh, disapproval for what is happening because that's not the way. We were given the job to supposedly find a place and now the minister, and in case you guys will know the minister I'm referring to, I'm talking about Alkidas, Michael Alkidas, just in case there's any, any um, question who I'm referring to. Mm -hmm. 
And um, um, and so, that being said, um, um, we were told that the place that we were going is on Howell Road, uh, next to the to the Leslie Miller place. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I was made to understand that this building was just recently purchased by none other than the same name you call Tilly, Tilly Burris and some Tilly others. Burris. Yeah. yeah, whether whether or not Jerome Fitzgerald and others are involved, I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. But um, 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 he is the main player I know in in this, and right. And let me tell you something: that building, where that building is located, uh, anyone who needs help from the Consumer Protection Commission got a cash taxi ride, one way or the other. They cannot walk in. Why is it? Why is it that? that the Bahamian consumer is being put at a disadvantage to come go all the way down, down, down um, um, Hall Road if they need help. Of course, we know there's schools and so forth, but the kicker is that this building is owned by one of the PLB generals. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. I believe as a supporter of any political body, there should be some spoils coming away, you know, whether you like it or not. Right, but the manner in which these things are done is really was bothering me. That we we are paying but fifteen thousand dollars now where we are at. We could have been going someplace that will cost us about seven thousand dollars, but no, no. The minister's position is it's a fate a complete finish. It's not happening. That's where you're going, right? Wow. Um, and so you know the names are being thrown around that that. Some ministers may be involved, or others may be involved by OHA, Shane Gibson. I don't know. All I do know is this, that that building, I understand, I heard you call $50,000. I mm -hmm. believe it's twice that amount. I believe the rent for that building is more than, it's double that amount. If it ain't 100000 if, if tell them, and prove it. Tell them, prove it, wow. because because um, um, uh, what I've seen happening is really, really bothering me, Lincoln, right? Because mm -hmm. not only did, did um, um, uh, um, that building was being provided, it was built out. You know, you know what it means for something to be built out? That uh, means that they have to do all the work on the inside. So the government had to spend all the money to yes. do all the renovations. Yes. yes, and I understand it was tens of thousands of dollars. And, and, and the thing about it, right? The thing about it, uh, I, I'm not saying that there is a minister involved doing anything crooked or, 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 or corrupt. But I tell you this, the two agencies that were sent there are uh, under the agency, under the, the, the ministry of Mr. Halkidas, um, um, Consumer Affairs and Consumer Protection Commission. Now, it may be a coincidence, but my brother, I don't think so. When you, when you have the cronies um, 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 uh, occupying this, getting these buildings, and then the minister responsible for 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 these two agencies uh, ensuring that those are rented, that they, those are, 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 are all of the, the infrastructure are put in, I smell a rat. And, I, and it ain't wow. no small rat. It's a big rat, Lincoln, right? Wow. It makes no sense what they're doing, they, right? They're making it difficult for the ordinary man to come and, 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 and deal with their complaints. While, while these persons, whoever, whoever they may be, are collecting monies and monies um, um, of, uh, uh, that belongs to the payment people. But, so wait. So for a lot, so a lot of people just turn in the viewership kind of triple uh, when you start talking. Uh, so I just want to introduce you to some people who not, might not know who you are. You are the deputy chairman of the Consumer Protection Commission. That is correct, sir. I'm the deputy chair. I've been okay. the deputy chair now for almost fifteen months. And so this this uh, new lease for this building that uh, belongs to a, a PLP crony, this didn't go through you and the board. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. It, um, um, the, the discussion, when, when I heard about it, we were told no need to go, no need to do anything else. Um, um, it's been taken care of. That, this is what the minister wants, and that's what he's going to get. 
and there's uh-huh. allegations. Of course, we can't prove it, but of course, this, we're talking about public uh, treasury, and this is of public importance. So I'll say this is allegations that uh, there may be some some uh, government officials involved with the ownership. Um, people are alleging it may be Halkita, so we can't prove that. Um, uh, Jerome Fitzgerald, all right, and others. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, these are allegations. Um, but we know that Tilly uh, Burroughs is a part He's of the it. main person. Yeah. Main my, person. My, my friend Tilly. Your I'm friend. Not, he's someplace cussing me now, if you know, with, um, uh, that, that I'm here. He cussing yeah, you, but you're doing this because it's the right thing to do for the baby. Yes, sir. yes, sir. It's the right thing. And let me tell you something. What um, um, Before I, 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 I go on, in addition to those funds as we speak more than seventy thousand dollars has already been spent on furniture and the building is not fully furnished and you accidentally said seventy thousand you know yeah seven zero seven zero thousand yes sir on, on furniture, furniture. oh no yeah just for the yes for the cpc side now i'm now perhaps exactly the same amount or more was spent would have been spent or it's being spent on on the consumer protection side I mean the consumer welfare so side. Two different government agencies. Yes. Each of them may have a lease for fifty thousand because the fifty thousand yes. I quoted was yes. just for the consumer protection. Yeah. Yes, that's my understanding. So we're actually talking about a one point two million a year lease. Quite possible. Quite possible. To ask them to show us. To show otherwise. us. Which they should do. They're the government. They should be yeah. given account. Yes. How is and it that the board itself wasn't a part of all of this? Yes, and this is why I, I, I am so upset with Michael Pintard because you you end up with this because I tried to talk to him. He is the government, he is the, 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 the person responsible for keeping his eye on the government purse. And I gave him this opportunity um, um, several times to, to, to address it, but he does not see the importance. No way, you're trying to say you gave this information that you're giving us no. now to the leader no. of the opposition. No, no, I did not. I gave him the opportunity and I told him that I wish to speak to him, mm. but he chose not to. And, and no. I did say to him about what's going on at CPC. In fact, I have it and I, I WhatsApp it to him so he can always see that. Wow. Right? And, 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 and so here it is. After hearing you, I said, I will come and speak to you. So you yes. will be the beneficiary of this because he chose not to. Wow. Okay, and so seventy thousand has already been spent, and the building that CPC is going on is not even fully furnished. So here it is. It seems to me that we have another um, um, um Brussel. That the embassy was it in Brussel. Yeah, right? all that money, behemoth money, because it is this good friend spent a bunch of money. We got to stop doing this, Leakett. We have to stop doing this. You wow. know. It's you and and you know what, what annoys me with this as well the board that i'm a part of is quite aware of what's going on right they don't have the they don't have the stomach to stand up and say what is going on is wrong right what once their party member agrees or say something they just go along with it they just mm-hmm. go along with it you see and my, my chairman walter walter ferguson mm-hmm. you see you know he got to live up to I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what because you see he yeah yeah he has two as I understand it he has two contracts his wife has two contracts and his 20 year old son in, in in California he has a contract you see so, what? so so these people they're getting they're getting something and so I I, I can appreciate them they're not wanting to 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 um, um, upset the board or whatever but what they're doing is wrong nobody is gonna give me a contract I, uh, uh, just so I could be quiet. I, I make six hundred dollars a month um, um, as 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 a deputy commissioner, you, you, mm-hmm. you know. But no one is gonna is gonna get me to do things that are not right. Things that I can see. I'm an intelligent person. I understand what's going on. And the, and the, the board that is now there, they are a bunch of all of them in my eyes are corrupt persons. Wow. Right? All of them. I mean, well, there's one. There's one. Let me say this. There's one decent person there on the board. It's a young lady. Listen here, I just so love her. But the rest of them, Nino Newbold, um, the, the the Reverend Edna Minnis, um, 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 put 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 trees, 
Watson, Adley, man, listen, these people, something, and, and of course, Franklin, Franklin Ferguson, these people, wow. listen, yeah, they out, they out to, to grab whatever they can from, the, of the Bahamian monies. You know what, you know what, Mr. 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 Ferguson has said, I'm a, the, the chairman, this mm -hmm. is their time, they got to take advantage of it. It's the time. That's I mean, and he, they're not saying anything that others. That's what the others have been doing as well. For some reason, when these questions get in power, they it's, it's time to it. Huh? He he he. Um 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 um. um, um, um for example, is getting a thousand dollars a month as, as the chair, right? So so what does he what does he need to 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 um, um contract for? Why does his wife need to contract? Why does his wow. son need to contract? These are the kind of things that's going on. And then we're supposed to sit back and say nothing. And you know, so right now I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad guy. You You're see, speaking the truth. Yes, but I don't know why, what is going on. You know why? Because I am the deputy chair. Okay. And 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 and, 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 and Walter and his cronies so among the the, the the board they will have their own private board meetings they don't even invite me decisions are made without me even being involved or you may contact me so they wow. know they know how i go they know how i go and so in order for them to do certain things they do not include me that's why it's a joy for me to speak to what is going on so that the behaving people could know the scum that we have uh, 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 working here at cpc and i'll and i'll tell you this um, um, well, Halkidas can put them back if he wants. If Halkidas wants to bring, restore dignity to CPC, not a single one of them, except one lady, is is deserving of going back to 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 um, um, uh, the board of CPC. It's, it's, wow. it's horrible, man. It's horrible. Wow. I'm in it. I know it's hard to believe, but it's, it. it's the truth. I am not making up any stories on anyone. I am living it. And, and, and you see, the thing about it, right, is that I'm not saying they are corrupt. I'm saying we are corrupt because I'm a, I'm a board member. So any corrupt decisions we make or, or we allow to be made, we are all part of it. So I'm wow. corrupt too. Wow. I said, despite, despite the fact that I may have shown my disapproval or, or disagreement, that when the board makes a decision, whether I like it or not, I'm a part of that board, you see? But wow. I, want, I want the Bahamas to know, despite that, Despite that, I still have my name, and anything they see or they ask relate to CPC that does not appear correct, I want them to know that I had Tyrone Rock Morris had nothing to do with it. Mm. Wow. I, I want to ask this question for a reason. You don't have to answer this particular one, but there's a reason I want to ask you this. Uh, who, who did you vote for in the last election? Well, before I answer, I'll say this. If you check the newspaper, you check the television, you check the radio, Tyron Rock Morris was there inviting the Bahamian people to support Mr. Brave Davis. I supported Brave Davis in the last election. You must remember that the TUC signed a, a memorandum of understanding saying that they would do certain stuff, and, right? And we begged the Bahamian people to support them. But, you know, um, uh, I, didn't, I did not beg the people for this kind of corruption. I, did, I don't think that's fair to them. I asked them to support them, but not for this kind of corruption. I, I no no sir. All right, so I, I the reason I ask you that is because I don't want people to think this is political. Like you just against the government, etc., and you just want uh, you just want to hurt the government. No, you supported this. Oh yes, I vote. I vote. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, brave. Yes, ma yes, sir. And I ask the Bahamian people to support it. Wow, are you disappointed right now? Uh, you need to find a different word because disappointment won't be uh, appropriate. It's a, you, can you think of another word that I'm um, disgusted, <laughs> disgusted, disappointed? L listen, listen, yeah. See, uh, don't get me wrong, um, um, Lincoln. I do not believe all of the government agencies and so forth are corrupt, but I do know, based on what I see, I have every reason to feel that what's happening at CPC is total, total corruption oh wow i'm sure there's some good agencies out there but this one where i'm part of that uh michael akitas is is, 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 is is the head of boy listen here i don't have nothing good to say nothing wow. good to say. 
and you're on the board. Um, yes. When is this building supposed to be open? Well, it, 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 it actually should have. My understanding is that it would have been open this week, but um, um, I don't know because they don't share this, those kind of information. With You're me. the deputy chairman. They're yeah. not sharing I, that information no, with you? No, no, I don't know. And I'm the deputy chair. So that, t that tells you, that, you know, if they can have it their way, I won't be a part of any meetings they had. And we have not been, you know, just out of transparency, we have not been going, doing well as a board because I, we, I have a problem with the way in which they they um, 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 go about uh, doing things. Um, um, they have, they have, they are juvenile. Their behaviors are juvenile. Wow. Juvenile. Let, let me let me let me give you this quick example. I am a trained labor advocate. Right now, to, tonight, before course, before coming on, I had to deal with uh, uh, employment law course because you know that finished at nine. That's why I I could only come on now. Do you know we had to discipline a staff and. Not once they did what they say, Ms. Morris or Rock or whatever they used to call me. Um, um, what's the best way for us to deal with this matter? Well, because of their dishonest behavior and, and tendencies, they knew should they come to me, what, the, what I would have said. And so before they do that, they went and made their own decisions, a handful of them. And not once did they speak to the person who has some understanding on, on, on labor relations. That's me. Wow. Just two. So what does that tell you, um, um, Lincoln? I am there. Free, free to them. I am there. And, they, and before they come and ask me, Mr. Morris, whatever that situation is, can we get your, your input on, on it so that we can make a proper decision? No, sir. They refuse to speak to me. Because uh, wow. after one sort of discussion and they saw where my head was at in regard to it, they um, they uh, refuse. They start. And in fact, they, they formed. Uh, uh, I have a little joke. Now there are three. There are three um, um chat groups. Chat groups at CPC. And but, but before I let you go, to show you how they go, they are in January and in February. I wrote to to um, um to our chat group, and I pointed out to them the um um Cocorman Act, right? Uh, on two occasions, you you think one of them responded. Right, I said to them, "Listen here, um, um, this could be problematic. This could be problematic if we if we um, 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 do not uh, do deal with this properly." I tell them, "It'll be." I, I tell them, um, um, it'll, it'll, "It'll be pro problematic." Not a single one of them, not a single one of them responded to me. And, and the last the last um, 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 uh, message I sent to them was February twenty third, and I said. If whatever is being done in relocating CPC should be in accordance with the below bill, if not, it can become problematic. Right now, I put on the, the public requirement bill 2022 and, and all of this, just so that they can see where my head is at, but they're not interested. That's the kind of corruption we're dealing with. Wow. They're not interested. And the first time I sent this to them was in, in, at the end of this January. They are not interested. So, wow. so they are equally as corrupt as those persons who are involved in that building on 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 on, um, on Howell Road. My Lord, I'm hearing that this is happening in government with other buildings. I'm I'm be about, yeah, I'm hearing about this this prison deal oh. uh, where it jumped from 50 uh, million to 90 million, mm -hmm. and um, you know we're gonna release documents on that uh, yeah. in short order. Um, I mean. It seems like every time this government comes to power, this particular administration, I mean, we, we keep going back in the same circle over and over. Yeah. I, I, and I have done against people making money. I have nothing. I mean, because wow. you got to do it. I mean, and I think you should be considering your, your followers, but they are, they are pro common um, situation. I mean, who, who authorized whatever hundreds of uh, uh, tens of thousands to be spent on that building? Who authorized that? And what is so disgraceful is that the person who, um, um, uh, the Minister of, uh, of Economic Affairs is, is Hal Kitas. He should know the proper way for things to be done. He's the minister. He should know, right? Make wow. sure that nobody come and point their finger at him, right? But right now, um, um, look at uh, friends and families and whoever, they, they, make, they pull in their own deals. 
And it sounds it sounds like they got a loan for this building, like Tilly and them got a loan. Well, uh, from from the bank, and and that means they would have been making free money because if they got a lease, a long term lease from the government, and they got a loan, the lease is going to just pay off the loan, and everything they make is gravy. They didn't really have to put up nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, I don't know if I can. You think it's any possibility of me being able to get a little small piece of that on my Lincoln? Well, that, that's your PLB friends. <laughs> you, you go PLB, yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't go for them. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just trying to be funny, you know, but I'm, um, it, it, it really ain't funny. It's a serious thing, and I'm, um, something needs to be done. I'm, um, this corruption, we need to put an end to this type of corruption. I'm glad. I, 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 they ain't do none for me. I never asked them for anything. You know what I mean? And so my hands are clean. Wow. At least in this regard. My hands are even clean. though you supported them, even though you asked people to support them, you you still didn't ask them for nothing. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Wow. And that's the same way I was with those other people too. I do it because I believe in it. You, you, you don't owe me. I don't owe you anything. You don't owe me anything. That's why I speak the way I speak. Because, wow. you know, in nothing... Nothing changed hand for me. That's the way I operate. My my, wow. my lady, um, um, don't, um, um, she talked to me uh, so the way for being this way. But I tell her that's the way she made me, you know. And at the at the end of the day, I can sleep good. You understand? Yeah, I can sleep good. Yes. Are you willing to take some calls from the public? Sure, man. All right. Uh, the phone number is eight zero three five nine nine five eight zero three five nine nine five. Uh, what do you think about this uh, that you're hearing, the corruption here? Do you have any questions uh, for Mr. Rock Morris? Um, and why would someone who uh, supported the government decide that he's going to speak the truth in his area? And there are so many people who are coming forward yeah, baby. and speaking uh, and speaking. I've been in, 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 in for five minutes. Okay, he's, he's getting the call. <laughs> All right. All right. 803-5995 is the number. Um, call us uh quickly. Uh Mr. Morris has to go. What do you what do you think? How do you feel? Uh if you have any questions for him, 803-5995 um is the number. You know, okay, the phone is ringing now. There we go. Good afternoon, you're live. Go ahead, man. Good afternoon to your guests. Good afternoon. I, 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 I hear, I hear, I hear, listen to, listen to this, this poor gentleman, man. Look at this, 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 this is grace in this country, you know. Wow. Now, I come and, I come and, I come and get that what he said. Now, I don't know if he, he's serious about what he, what he said. $600 a month? That's what he's getting paid, yeah. yeah. Man, that's less than a hundred. Less, 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 less than two hundred dollars a week. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. It's a civic duty, really. You know, I, I mean, I don't have a big thing about it. That's fine. That, I can live with that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah but bro, look here. Thank God for men like you who, who get the guts to come out and expose these corrupt dirt bags that that we have in this country. And, and, and see, I have no better words to use than these words. That's what they is, a bunch of dirt corrupt bikes. I agree with you, sir. Those, those, are, those because, associated with CPC, you know, I know for sure. I know for sure. Being honest, look at this, this hurt me to, to the core of my guts when I hear, hear garbage like this. I feel like grabbing them and, and, and doing like what Samson did to, to the to the to the foxes when he tied every one of them by the tails and, and burn them a fire and let them go. Yeah. All right, so we got some other calls trying to come through. Thank you for your call. We appreciate it. But yeah, yeah, um, um, Lincoln boy, you all take it easy, man. All right, see you at the at the rally on June second. Oh, oh, Lincoln, I need to talk to you about that rally. Okay, let me take another call first. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. You live. Good afternoon, my president. How are you doing? I want to address my comment to Mr. Rock Morris. Go ahead. Rock Morris, I know you know the this. I know you know the this because we have been in the trenches together. Okay. Turn okay. your, turn your, whatever you listen to that on, turn it down so, so it doesn't okay. echo. 
Yeah, turn that down. Just listen to the phone. So, sorry for moving up and down, but, but duty, call, duty calls. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Go Are ahead, bro. Ready? Go ahead. Are you ready to come over here? Um, um, uh, this this is not for coming over or going under. This is about exposing corruption. No, no, no. You gotta come over because I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> hey, Daphne, take it easy, okay? <laughs> Where you want him to come over to? He's coming over to the CLI, baby. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 hey. Long time. Long time. Listen, listen. Long time. Long time. Who knows? Who knows? I never want PLP in my whole entire life. Mm. I'm doing it now. Ross Morris, you are a good guy. I know who you all about. We used to be union people. But don't do it. You're too old for that. To do what? To do our country, honey. I too old to do what? Our yeah. country needs us. Yeah, I'm, 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 listen, yeah, and 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 in a month I can be 69. So, uh, you know, I'm, um, you know, I, I just want to do my civic duty. I, I just want to do my civic duty. We still have to fight. Trust me, don't let me speak yeah. up. Yeah. But, our but I'm doing, I'm doing what I can now, and um, hopefully others can can do the, do the same. All right. Come over and do some good. Use you. your expertise to do good for our country. We let these these um, pirates scare us for fifty years. Mm -hmm. wow. Hell no! I knew it long time. I talked about it. Thank Nobody you. listened to me. So do your thing, Rock. Thank love you. you. Love you. Thank bye. you, my dear. Okay. All right. Love you too. Bye. Okay. Rock, you said you wanted to say something about the rally. Oh, no. I, I said I'm going to call you about that. I, I'm okay. On, I'm on for Labor Day, right? I, I'm, yes. I'm on, yeah, I need to talk to you on that. Okay, that's no problem. Yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 well, I know it sounds like you have to go. Um, but, Rock, I want to say this. I, I really honor you. Do you know which contracts those persons have? Um, well, I'm... Um, 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 Mr. Mr. Ferguson, I know he has a graveyard one. He has one at Coral Harbor. Um, mm, graveyard. I think that I think it's one, something near the, to 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 St. Joseph. Um, um, uh, the the one at Coral Harbor, and um, there, um, all, there may also be one in in, in Cat Island. I'm not sure. I, I you know wow. I don't I don't really have. That, that okay, I'm taking another call. Give me one sec. Uh, good evening, you're live. Good night. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm so happy that someone decided to take the bull by the horn and run with it because for too long this country has been so corrupted. And it's, if no one can see it, the, the powers that be, they can't see it. They're too blind to see it or they just I don't know what, I don't want to say a wrong word, but it is horrible. Wow. I'm working for the government and, and they won't even give me what I supposed to get. Why? Because they have persons that are networking to destroy the human people. That is it's the worst thing that ever happened to the humans. If wow. you're doing that to the humans, what, 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 what you think the phone is going to come and do? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And 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 now, like Loft and Roker, I heard uh, earlier when they were talking about Loft and Roker, where he 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 sat down. I feel and said what he had to say, but why would you keep talking if no one is listening? Yeah. No one listened, and now the Bahamas is facing the consequences of allowing people to come in the country and having children and now their children are sitting up in these chairs and being disgusting to other Bahamian people. Mm. They're not original or, or organic Bahamians and they don't care. Wow. And so mm -hmm. I'm hoping that Mr. Lincoln Bean and Mr. Morris, I hope they don't continue and take this bull and really run with it until it come to fruition. Yeah. yeah. Because thank some you. change thank need you. to happen. Thank you very much. Haiti went down because of corruption. 
Jamaica going down because of corruption. Something different needs to happen. Yeah. Thank you for your call. And FNM, they should be finished with. Thank you for your call. That's my five cents. Right. You know, you. Um, when I was thinking about all of this linking, my mind ran mm -hmm. on, um, on Dr. Stroker when you made those remarks that the corruption is rocking the um, um the, the the party to the foundation you know and that, that's what i see you know it's so it's just so unfortunate i mean you know yeah. i know everyone want to make some money and so forth but they donate at the expense of others and at, we, we we are taxpayers and then and it really shouldn't be it shouldn't yeah. be linked it yeah. shouldn't be but, there's, there's, in my view there is enough for to go around for everybody um, more Bahamians can be taken care of. Uh, there's a few greedy people that's controlling everything and spoon feeding the, the, the rest of the Bahamian public. And that has to change. And we're going to change that. We need a country that is free of corruption. And uh, at our rally, we are going to show persons exactly how this can be done. Our rally is not going to be about bashing the PLP and FNM. This is going to be about a vision for the new Bahamas. You know, we've had enough of that bashing, et cetera, et cetera. We want a, a vision and we want to move to a Bahamas where uh, our people are put first and that we know we can do things that matter. The problem in our country, Rock, is, mm -hmm. is, is that governments only do what they can make money from. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And that's why you're experiencing what you're experiencing right now uh, on that board. It's because they're only doing that because they found some way to make money. And, you know, a piece of the pie goes to the, to the party. That's how they fund the party and it goes to the big wigs. You know, yeah. a piece of that pie, and they do that with so many different buildings. It's going to be a lot of money when you look at. So that's one billion, and that's one point uh, two million a year, possibly. Imagine how much other buildings are doing this with. Yes, but let me share this with you. You know, these persons are putting themselves out as leaders of the Progressive Liberal Party, right? And if they are corrupt, you see how this thing it will be continued. Uh, the mm -hmm. corruption will be continued because they can be moved from wherever they are with their corrupt behavior and they can take it elsewhere. Oh man, listen here, we're in trouble. We're in trouble big wow. time. Let me take this call. Good evening, you're live. Good evening, good evening, Mr. Bain. Good evening, Mr. Morris. Good evening. Um, I just called to um, make a statement, not really to ask a question. Um, and to Mr. Morris, um, I thank God for you standing up and standing out and declaring all of that which you have shared with us this evening. I say to you, you have stood up and you have declared truth to the Bahamian people. And I can tell you that's all God wanted. That's all God wanted. Want to stand up and open up his mouth where truth is concerned and i can tell you many will follow you after the night many will come forth and start to confess god bless you we thank you and we hope that you do the right thing because you seem to be a very just person yeah and coi is a just party and a just team so you take care and be encouraged and know that we are praying for you we are praying with you Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mom, and God bless you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, a lot of people respect what you're what you're doing today. Um I respect it. I, I never thought I would see the day when when real behemoths have uh, you know the cards actually stand up like this. You take another call. Good evening, your life. Good, good, good evening, Mr. Morris. Mr. Morris. Hi. Uh, my oh. hero, Mr. Morris, thank you for standing up to the poor, for, for the poor people. That's a long walk for them if they don't want bus money or taxi money, Mr. Morris. And thank you, you're my hero. And I voted for the PNP just like you last time. This next time, I'm going to vote for Lincoln Bain, the COI. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Um, thank you, good And this is, what you, this is what we need in this country. People are going to stand up. And um, I'm, I'm going to put the, the PLP on notice that if there's any retribution towards uh, Tyrone Rock Morris, yeah. it's going to be more in, in this country. We're going to come forward. Uh, we will come forward in goodly numbers, and we will come for you wherever you are. All right? Because we are tired of the corruption. 
all right? We are tired of the corruption. We hungry while y'all living good. Y'all doing good. Y'all taking your flights. Y'all doing all these corruptions. Uh, you have the croonies talking about all the contractors going out there, the MPs who are, are putting contracts in other person's name so they can get it. All of the information is getting out there now. And we're tired of it. This government needs to step down forthwith in any other country you would have done so. And I'm telling you now, if you all want a war, because Tyrone, when I put this out there on my Facebook to let them know that um, uh, one of the, the government uh, uh, board members would be speaking out tonight, I immediately, within less than a minute of, of posting that on Facebook, I got a call from someone at the prime minister's office. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were they were nice and cordial they wanted to know i was serious with that you know and they said they'll they'll be watching okay um, they are watching well, right now well, well guess what they know now eh yes and they said that yeah we need to snuff out corruption they actually said that uh but i want them to know i won't expose what i was to call me but um i want you all to know that if you all touch tyron rock morris is war all right simple as that you can take that however you all want if you all touch Tyrone Rock Morris for speaking the truth and exposing what he's experienced on that board, he's a whistleblower. The United Nations and treaties that we have signed does not allow you to touch him. It does not. Because he's speaking the truth. Let me tell you what to do. Go to the Consumer Protection Agency and clean it up. All right? Move Mr. Alkides from his government position. He needs to step down immediately. I, I, I agree with that 100%. He must resign. Now, Rock Morris, I can see how many people, how many media houses cover this because they have sold their souls. Mm -hmm. I want to see how many media houses cover this tomorrow. All of them are watching. We can see how much integrity we have in this country. They're watching right now, all right? Tens of thousands of Bahamians are watching this. We'll see how many media houses cover this, all right? And I say this to the government again. Yeah, um, I I need to, could we wrap up? Because um, I, I, yes, I know you time. gotta take care of, of, of business uh, where you are. Yeah. I really uh, wanna thank you uh, for what you did. And um, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to continue the live. You can watch from your phone while you're taking care of, of what you're taking care of. Yeah. Um, but I appreciate that you would take the time to do this for the Bahamian people. Any last pleasure. words you want to say to them? My, my pleasure. No, I just think it's the right thing to point out uh, to the Bahamian people where, where there's corruption, perceived corruption, or anything that's going wrong as relate to the me and your money. And how yeah. could there be corruption at the Consumer Protection Committee Commission as oh, opposed to fight corruption? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, that's when you have the wrong persons who are put there because of the political. I, I, you know, I mean, you, you know, I mean, I voted PLP, right? But but I, I know PLP. I voted PLP. But all of those wow. people there, all of them are PLPs. I'm wow. listening here. Please, there's a sweet young lady there. You know, I mean, I, I believe I just wanted to know. Whatever I'm saying is not to water. She's a decent person. She's decent. But the rest of them? Hmm. Which one is I a good one? Know. Yeah, take care now. And thanks, thanks, uh, my Bahamas for allowing me to, to share. All right, good All right, thank you, man. I appreciate you and stay strong, man. We'll be in touch. Okay. All right. Bye bye. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that was Tyrone uh, Rock Morris. Um, what he did was valiant. I respect it 1,000%. Uh, what he did was valiant. What he did was not even, a, what he exposed was not even a tip of the iceberg to what is going on in this country right now. This administration is going to turn out to be the most corrupt administration in the history of this country when you see exactly what is going on. Don't you hear the voice notes? Don't you hear them? Their own PLPs are exposing them. Their own PLPs are exposing the contracts and the deals. They, the things that they're exposing, the police should be investigating right now. 
There's exposés talking about political cronies who are going to government offices and walking out with contracts, going shopping to different uh, government ministries for contracts. Isn't that supposed to be a procurement process? Didn't the government admit to breaking the law as it relates to that so that they could give contract to who they want to give it to? To whoever is driving around shopping like Leslie Miller there? Leslie Miller, we're told also uh, his building is also being rented to the government. Leslie Miller's building. That's uh, uh, where uh, Robin Hood used to be. They already started renovating it. He mistreated his brother uh, up there on the construction side and his brother talked it. All right, what, the, what is this? I mean, Bahamas, we're seriously gonna keep going back and forth and over and over through the same thing? Or we can move forward? I'm calling on all Bahamians under the sound of my voice, plenty of y'all watching this right now, to show up on June 2nd at 6 p.m. on Labor Day. We have a walkabout this weekend, Saturday in Angleston, and for once you join us, you can join us. But we're calling on you. We're calling on you, all Bahamians. Join us. Show them that you are serious by your numbers. Show them that you're tired. Don't sit back home and watch on Facebook to see how much people there. You come. You take a stand. That's all I actually you know. Stand with me. I'm going to take the blows. I'm going to continue to take the blows. They are try. They are fighting me in every way. They are fighting me. Even every way you can think of behind the scenes trying to block everything they think i'm doing i have to move like cloak and dagger i'm willing to take the blows to save this nation i'm willing to take the risks i'm willing to be hated i'm willing to stand in front of you and take the bullets are you willing to stand up and fight for your country stand with me on june 2nd we're going to release the first six of our shadow ministers. We're going to, periodically, we're going to release more and more of them. On June 2nd, we're going to release the first six of our shadow ministers. And you're going to have a vision for the new Bahamas because we had enough, man. Now, Walker Industries that got the kind of $50 million contract for the prison. Walker industries walker is the last name of the principals of that company but they own that's only the last name because the mother who was a gibson married um married a walker the mother who was a Gibson, married a Walker. The mother, who was a Gibson, married a Walker. Shane Gibson, you all want to explain to the Bahamian people what's going on with the Walker contract? Or you all want me to do that for you? Y'all want to explain how this went from 50 million to 90 million? Shane Gibson? You see the same players showing up. Now you're hearing Jerome Fitzgerald's name again. Now you're hearing Shane Gibson's name again. They trick y'all to make y'all think, look at these new people, the new dynamic people that we have. Look at these new dynamic young people. Look at them. They are going to be the bridge to the new Bahamas. And we keep falling for this. And then after election, oh, uh, Shane Gibson, uh, that's uh, uh, Brave Davis advisor. He's his right hand. Uh, uh, Jerome Fitzgerald, oh, he running the office of the prime minister. And the same shady deals are continuing. $90 million. That make the $54 million that Minnis did with all the West Coast look like a joke. That's almost double what Minnis did. And that's only one deal. $90 million. 
Oh my God. That's money that goes, because they run it like a mafia. All of the important people are going to get there. The families are going to get their piece of the pie. The party is going to get their piece because I have to go towards winning the next election. <laughs> and um, that's going to get split up. $90 million. Normally, it takes until probably the year before election or so for these kind of scanners to start coming out. But they come out this quick. Jesus. Never before. <laughs> Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, spread the word. Talk to your family and friends. All right? Talk to your family and friends. <laughs> it says 90 million. Who is 90 loyal? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Grand God is $53 million from from minutes. Wow. And all of us got 54 million. And we keep repeating the cycle. The most interesting thing about what Rock Morris said tonight was that he reached out to Michael Pintar, told Michael Pintar that something was going on down there. He didn't give him the fine details of the names and who was who, but he told him this is what's happening. Michael Pintar ignore him. So you hear corruption going on in the government and you're interested. So you could stand up in the House of Assembly and make it seem like you're interested in the taxpayers' money. Oh, BEC, y'all um, didn't get the best deal. That's what the stuff they signed them for. BEC didn't get the best deal. What else did they have them signed them for? Oh, uh, we need restrictions on dogs. We need to ban pit bulls. You see the stuff the, the have them signed up against? Someone tell me, oh, Pinta is going to get the game traps and if he keeps traveling. If the Bahamian people are dumb enough to go back to the FNM and go to Pinta, they deserve everything they get. They, will, they deserve everything. I will have a different kind of lives after that next election. That every time Pinta screws Bahamian people, I will have a laugh party. And I'm dead serious with that. If the Bahamian people are fool enough to play, with Fred Smith and Louis Bacon's lapdog, uh, Michael Pintar. We, we don't deserve to have nothing. If you worry about the immigration situation, Michael Pintar was a puppet of Fred Smith. All that Togi and Bobo thing with Michael Pintar, he was working for Fred Smith, for Louis Bacon. The money was coming from Louis Bacon. So the money Fred Smith bribed the ad, that was from Louis Bacon. And Fred was funneling it to the FNM to get rid of the PLP because Nygaard was funding them. But Pintard was the lab dog, you know. Can anyone tell me what Pintard does for a living? Who's Pintard's job? What, is, what does he do? Someone asked me what I do, I'm an IT professional. Um, I build websites, mobile app, and I do other technical stuff, and that's what I do. I have some very, have some very big and important clients. That's, what, that's my main thing. I retired, made investments, and retired when I was 30, went back into business because I was bored, um, but I'm in IT. That's what I do. Someone here, especially the FNMs, tell me what Pinta does for a living. I'll wait. Because I won't know. I know a time ago we used to do some poetry. I ain't seen bringing out no books or nothing. What does Pintar do? I'll wait. I'll eat some pineapples while I wait. And someone said, you know, someone might say, why are you picking on Pintar? Because if you're going to tell me that a board member who voted for the PLP, call you and tell you corruption happening on his board. And you had no interest in that. Something wrong with you. Someone please, are you looking at the text? What's been to our job? What does he do for a living? Waiting. Nothing? 
Nothing. How do you criticize? How do you do this? How do you criticize the government for traveling and then travel with the government? Someone explain that to me. I'll wait because I know there's a lot of intelligence on here, and maybe some of you may be, you know, you know, a little more intelligent. Maybe you might have an answer to that. How do you criticize some of the joke as well? <laughs> How do you criticize the government about their travel and then you travel with the government? And then they say, oh, well, all people had to go because the king summons them. The king can't yeah, summon nobody. Andrew uh, Holness from the, the president, the sorry, prime minister of Jamaica didn't go. Jamaica didn't go. Did you see other members of the opposition there? He did not have to go. If it were me, I would have said no. Because I just criticized you of all this travel. And I would say, take that money, use it. That, that 50, 60,000, maybe 100,000 you spent, was going to spend on me and my wife trip. Let's give that a charity. <clears throat> Anyone figured out in that job yet? No? I'm running out of pineapples. <clears throat> OK. The acronym is a non-factor. We're not going back there. That's the end of that. That's the end of that for me. Um, anyone should be ashamed to wear a red FNM shirt in this country right now ashamed we are paying and this is why i'm, I'm getting on him who's in political we are paying michael pintad fifty thousand dollars a year cash plus perks plus allowances plus staff bodyguard phone all this car all this stuff gas we are paying Michael. So at the end of the day, uh, with all the staff and all that, it's probably, it's definitely over 100000 probably close to 200000 has been, yeah, but, but $200,000. If you add the expenses for the office and all that, we're probably looking at a quarter million dollars that we're giving him at least. Yeah, probably about a quarter million dollars that we're giving this man to oppose the government. We paid him for this, you know. This ain't something that would be nice for him to do. This ain't like me, Maria, and others who out here doing this for the love of country. We paid him to do that. Someone say, plus he getting paid as MP. Yes, thank you. That's another $24,000. So all that's what seventy-four, seventy-five thousand dollars right there. Plus, yep, we probably put a quarter million, maybe a little bit more that he is getting in total. Or a little more. Oh, plus the MP allowance, Jesus. That's another hundred thousand a year. And the other thirty thousand for the office and all man, this that's way more than a quarter million. This man right now managing probably about four hundred thousand dollars of people money. It's just guessing. Don't don't hold me to that. All right, someone is trying to call, and if you don't call, you can call back. Pintad, we have you looking good. Um. I don't know what other job you do out there, but the job we pay you for, the job we pay you for, the man called you and said, this corruption going on and you turn a blind eye. But then why is it the same like you are turning a blind eye to everything in this country right now that's important? Pintad, Brave took the sovereign wealth fund, you announced the assembly, what did you do? What did you say? 
all this corruption going on all around us, what are you doing? What are you saying? Y'all talking about BC. Uh, uh, you know, they didn't get the best rate on BC. Why are people living in cars? Pintad, when the government raids, raised the oil surcharge, what did y'all do? Not me. When the government put a uh, bottle and bread basket at us, what did y'all do? Oh, nothing. Nothing, Pinta? Seriously? Nothing? What you want? Go around, flying around, shaking people out? I saw a post going around where someone was, uh, someone sent a WhatsApp thing around where he was saying, as I can remember, that he's a member of death and he is disappointed uh, that he said he's in Grand Mahama because um, he said he was in a picture. And he said they call a, con a constituency meeting. So they call in these constituency meetings and joint constituency meetings uh, to, to lower the expectation. Uh, so that they could, and then they call all their people to come on, not just people from the constituency, because he's, he said they called him, well, he, what's up, and told all them to come out. So they'll have a meeting, tell everyone, all FNMs come out, and then they can then call it a constituency meeting for a particular constituency. So it looks like a lot of people in that constituency supporting them. That's the trick they play in right now because they don't have any support. So I'm say, Clint Watson is watching. Clint Watson. It, it, we need to fire Michael Pintard. When you have your press conference again, you could can you let us know what Michael Pintard's job is? Because he ain't doing a good job at it. At your next press uh, 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 release, you need to know what's going on. And Clint Watson, since you watching, you saw that we just revealed that there's apparent corruption at the CP um, the, the Consumer Protection Commission. We need to know uh, what's going on with that. Is that $100,000? $100,000 per month? $1.2 million? How much years is this contract? 10 years? Wow. What is this? $11 million? No, 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 no. Or 12? Wow. <laughs> wow. Clint, at your next press, uh, press uh, release, I need you to answer that, please. Say, Clint, and go on to that nest. <laughs> Clint, do the two right now. All right. So that's what I really wanted to cover tonight. Uh, we got some more stuff to expose. I don't want this to be too long. We'll talk about another stuff another time. Um, we see a lot of talks from this, uh, what's his name, Director of Labor? You. We're investigating you. I see you have a lot to say about Atlantis. You. We need to know how you are dealing with your staff, Mr. Director of Labor. Are you uh, victimizing your staff? Because I got a call from the sister of one of your staff members who said that because they stand up for against corruption and what's going on, you doing certain things. We have there are whistleblowers in every ministry right now. Every ministry. So there's more. Department of Labor, y'all supposed to represent labor. Y'all can't be mistreating your own staff. Don't do it. They sent one of their staff members, senior staff members, I get the details of that later, to the transfer to go work on a cubicle to spy her. She was hurt, she spoke to her family and her family spoke to me. All kind of victimization is going on. I thought those days was over. Wow. Wow. 
But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to uh, make this too long. You heard it here yourself. You heard it from the director, a chairman, the, sorry, deputy chairman of the Consumer Protection, Consumer Protection Commission. That's supposed to be protecting us about the apparent corruption that's going on there. Out of PLP, Cooney get his billing and now it's either fifty or hundred thousand dollars in rent. Jesus. June second, it's going to be a rally to remember. June second, uh, make sure you're there. Come out in full force um, and make sure that we send a message to these corrupt animals that we've had enough. Unless you're satisfied. If you work for government and you scared to be out, they can be dark. You know, light to that. They can, they can see you, they can recognize you. Um, but working for government don't stop you from, you know, there's no law that says you cannot participate. Where it talks about participation in politics, it's talking about actually running. So when you actually pay your $400 to run an election, that's when you have to resign. But in terms of your rights and freedom to, to go to rallies and, and participate in politics, et cetera, they can't take that from you. That's not the truth. All right? Come out. Bring your family. Bring your children. Let's bring this change, man. Let's make this happen. You know, someone asked me, uh, you know, a question. They said, well, why are you going to do differently? Some of you, amen. In real game. And what greater legacy than it would be to be the one who actually made the change for being in people when everyone else failed to do so? What greater legacy? Some people say, oh, when you get there, you're going to realize why you can do so. There's no way. Someone said, oh, the IMF, the Royal Bank, and this and that, and they put restrictions. No, they do not. The government uses that as an excuse so that they don't have to do what they want to do. They make y'all think that. They make y'all think that, but it's not true. No one is strong arming the government to make any decision. All right? They don't want to do anything that benefits you. And it's simple as that. It's simple as that. And so I want to thank all of you who've been watching this um, um, on Sunday. We're going to reveal and do some more. Um, make sure you're out there. We're going to rock this nation. It's going to be performers. Some artists are going to be performing. Um, we're going to have, we're going to have persons, uh, speaking. Our shadow ministers are going to be speaking, um, to, to introduce you, uh, the full details, but they're going to introduce you to the new Bahamas. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready for the new Bahamas? That is the question. I know I'm ready. Are any COI t-shirts available? Yes, we have uh, t-shirts available at the office. So you can go to the office in Pinewood and you can get your COI t-shirts, all right? Um, uh, it's time to change. You see these people, they sat in the campaign in the, in the community, they sat and walk about. First time ever. It's because of us, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. This is why I fight. I'm a proud, organic, Bahamian. I'm unapologetically Bahamian. Unapologetically. Not apologizing to anyone for being a Bahamian and for loving my country and for standing up for my country. Who don't like it? Too bad. There's more to come. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. And see you next time. As usual, I'm going to leave you uh, with some videos. And I hope these videos wake you up and shake you up. Um, because while you can't pay your bills,
while you can't pay your bills, while the government can't pay his bill, while you suffering, that's what's happening. Just a quick reminder of what's going on. They beating you and bludgeoning you every election and you go right back to them like an abused spouse. The same thing Leslie Miller bragged about doing to women, that's what they do to y'all every election. That's like beating your wife or your girlfriend every time you go home. You just beat her for looking at her. I love you. Boom, boom, boom. I had a girlfriend of that, but I don't beat her. She used to tell me, I love her no more because I did. That's <laughs> yeah. I had one like that. I had one. You know, she used to tell me. You, you, you know that you're, you're, you're joking with that. No. Oh, I'm serious with that. I tell I get tired, but my heart's a little hurting a bit. Give me a break. I'm telling you the truth. One thing I don't do is lie. The man say he ain't joking. One thing you don't do is lie. He say he beat that woman to pieces. This is why we have an immigration problem. Let me just say that I have always been a part of this community. And there's no accident I know how to do all the dancing. Because I always be and share with you. Because you are me and I am you. Yes, sir. And I'll be here with you always. Oh, yes, and those who knew me from the past and know me now, they always knew that I was there and always been there for you. Yes, sir, I, don't, I don't call you all, no, you all are not Haitians, Bahamians. You are Bahamian yes. and your origin is Haitian. Yes. Mine too and many of us. We have to stay apart for now so we can be together later. Are you all ready and willing to go? I don't know how you did this in 50 years. You look at history, who does this? Show me anybody else that has done this in 50 years. I'm, I'm waiting, mm -hmm. Let, show them to me. This wasn't done by money. Money, money doesn't produce visions. Visions produce money. You've had leadership over here that were visionaries, great visionaries, and their vision was more about the people than the money because you can't accomplish this in 50 years without loving your people first because the people are the ones that's benefiting from this. Look at your health care. Look at your road system. Look at your highway system. Look at your airports. Who does this in 50 years? But who benefits? You're going to care about those people. It's something to be learned about what's been done over here that could be duplicated in the world because there's people with this much money. You just don't have people with this much love for their people. You know, a lot of people wonder how Dubai became a very big, famous and rich um, city. You see, if you're, if you're comparing with Nigeria, listen to this. Nigeria has oil before than Dubai. It's a history. They are more rich than us. They have agriculture, they have mining, they have everything, you name it, they have it. Am I right or wrong? When you have a true leadership, which we have, we have nothing, but we have everything because we have the right leadership. That's the only thing you need, a right leader for your country, not corruption. That's what brings your country at the top. You don't need anything. We don't have, we want water, we don't have agriculture, we don't have mining. Uh, that's quite interesting. And that's Sheikh Mohammed, number one. He doesn't know number two, he needs only number one. He says, I don't know, there's no number two in my book. Only number one. I hear he doesn't ride in a convoy. <laughs> 
Sheikh Mohammed has no bodyguards. He walks around uh, like a regular citizen. No one is trying to kill him. No one would dare touch him. He made every single citizen wealthy. Someone says, what makes you think uh, the COI is going to do different? Because when we do different, we're going to be able to walk around like Sheikh Mohammed with the people who realize that, wow, finally, someone did something different. But we had to break free of the PLP and FNM to make it happen. We are going to deliver a new about Anderson and Warm. Please do. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. God bless you. See you next time.